A Seek Reality Online member asked, How often can I have after-death communication with my loved one? I think this question comes from a concern that we'll keep our loved ones from their activities in the next life. Nothing could be further from the truth. In this video, I explain what I mean. Hello, I'm Dr. R. Craig Hogan, President of the Afterlife Research and Education Institute and Seek Reality Online. How often can you have after-death communication with your loved ones? As often as you want to. It's no different from having a person you love who lives in another state or country. You may call every day if you want to, or you might leave a few days or weeks between conversations. It's up to you. Your loved ones are available to communicate with you when you make yourself available. They are always only a thought away. When you intend to communicate with them, they receive your intention and either communicate telepathically from wherever they are or come to you on the earth plane. You'll also learn when they want to communicate. You can learn to have a sense of when they're calling or when they are near. It's as real as a sense of seeing or hearing. You just have to become attuned to it. If you are in grief, you may have a sudden wave of sadness. It's because they're near them or they're thinking about you. At a subliminal level, you feel their presence and their love, so it brings up memories of them. The subliminal memories may put you into a feeling of grief because they're not with you at that moment in the familiar body. Be sensitive to the feeling that they want to talk to you. Stop what you're doing for a moment and talk to them. The first notion that comes to you after you say something is their response. If you have to think about it, you've missed it. They communicate telepathically, so you get the entire message in one package. It comes either before you say something, because they know what you're going to say, or while you're saying it, or immediately after you say it. They never wait a few seconds or a minute to respond. You'll get used to receiving their messages if you just relax and accept what comes to you as a notion or a feeling or a message. When you say something to them, you needn't worry about communicating too much with them. They want to communicate with you. They're waiting for you to contact them.